What's up guys, Nick here from Shop Last, and today I'm itching my face. That's all the video, I'm just gonna itch my face. And today I'm gonna show you how to make the best face mask ever, especially for people with glasses. Um, yeah. Let's do it. All right. One of the best things about this design is how easy the template is to make. And so all you have to do is get an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, grab your ruler. And what we're gonna cut out is an 11 and a half by four and a quarter inch rectangle. So take your little peen style and give me that make a little mark. Now that you've got that, take your ruler and mark out one and a quarter inch from the outside edge. Do that on both sides. Excellent. And then what we're gonna do is we wanna mark two inches. Let's just say two inches. Like that on one side. So now we can do, pull this in half again. Connect these two lines. So, bazinga. I'm gonna take your little pencil and you can kind of use that as a guide. Kind of round it over, make it look nice. Now what you can do, take this, fold this in half. Boom, beautiful. Look at that, I'm a freaking origami artist. Take your scissors. And just chop, chop, chop. Bada bing, bada boom. Unfold. We're gonna cut the corners here just a smidge. Gonna fold that out. Lovely. Take your ruler again. Measure another one and a quarter inch in from the end. Do that on both sides. And then we're gonna fold Right on that line. Boom, there's your two templates. This is one, this is the other one. Now let's cut this out of the fabric. So the beauty of this design is that you only need one piece for your template. It's literally this, you fold those edges in and that. You just need two of each of those. So let's go ahead and mark that out. I'm using a black fabric here. Um, just so this looks nicer, I'm going to iron it. So, what the fuck is my iron? <laughs> I found it. Um, this is also already hairy, because my cat's a monster. Freaking oying this stuff out so it's nice and flirt. Alright, bye iron. Okay, now template time, baby. And let's mark out this saucy little beaver. Pieces. 
Now, take your smaller pieces, the big ones out of the way for now, and we're gonna fold them in half, lengthwise. I suggest taking your iron. And I highly suggest ironing them because it's just easier to keep it folded that way. It's a nice good crisp. All right, just good crisp. Just gonna keep on rubbing it. Mmm, definitely. Okay, so boom. There's one. Take the other one. Also fold this in half. These are gonna make up the nose and chin pieces. Keep on ironing all this stuff. Yeah, I like to use a lot of steam because I'm fucking hardcore. Yeah. All right. Now that you've got your pieces, you are gonna take the long pieces, them down. Just a fucking cat hair all over this, and you're just gonna line them up. So. The mark you made, that's kind of your center mark. Just line up that center mark. And we're just gonna make a little Sammy. We're gonna make a little fabric Sammy. It's gonna be delicious. And that one goes there. So those go there. You can take your other one. And this one goes right over the top. See what I mean? A little fabric Sammy. What I like to do, once it's in place, I like to just give it a good iron, just to kind of Get everything nice and smooth and in place and just looking all neat. I like things neat. My neat little boy. Now we gotta sew it, but I gotta put black thread in, so just let me. Magic of cinematography. So you're gonna take your little fabric fanny and you are just gonna sew it all up, baby. I just sew straight with the edge of the foot. I don't really know how far that is or what, but that's what I do. So now you're gonna take your little fish you made and then you're gonna flip it inside out. What I do is kind of grab in the middle-ish and actually push it through with your thumb, like so, and that's an easier way to get it um, to the other side. And you just kind of whoop, boom, look at that. You got a little thingy. Now, I'm gonna take the iron back and it's kind of naturally gonna fold a certain way, so let it fold that way. And then what I'm gonna do is just gonna fold it over. I'm gonna take my iron and I'm just gonna iron it on that seam so it stays flat. The other side. Now that that's on there, we're just gonna sew along that outside edge. I'm gonna get it pretty close to the seam just because I think it'll look a little noisa. So we got the majority of it sewn up, but before we sew the ends in, we wanna sew in the nose uh, support piece. Let me show you what I do for that. So the wire is a pretty important part of this. I feel like what makes this especially good for your glasses is, is if it can seal well around your face under where your glasses are. So what I'm gonna do is I have a bunch of this thin gauge wire. Um, it's just wire for like hanging pictures and stuff. And I don't hang my photos or whatever. So what I found out is that four strands of this stuff make for a really durable frame wire for your nose that's not going to, one, break, two, um, hold its position tight enough that it can actually hold it onto your face. And three, it's cheap and it's easy. Get all these. I like to just try and get them the same length. It's a little easier to do. And then what I do is I take these and I tie a little knot on the end of the wire, like so. I kind of fold the extra over just to have some kind of meat to grab onto. 
then I take a drill and I pinch it in a drill. Bet you didn't see that coming. Whoa. Try and get these all equal length. I just take a pair of pliers and hold the end. I don't know, there's probably a better way, but this is what I'm doing. And then you just Look at that. We got a nice thick ass wire, baby. The length you want, the length I went with, um, was four and a half inches. So there it is. I have no more fingernails. I can't grab anything. Boop. And now I got extra to make more. So sweet. There's your wire. And then once you got that wire cut, just use pliers or whatever you got, and just bend the end of the, uh, the wire so it's not just sticking straight out. Because it'll probably want to stab through the fabric on the end if it's sharp. So, bend sequana. Extra professional. Uh, those are rounded over. We can put this in here. So, you're gonna wanna make sure this is centered up. You're gonna get your Ruler, basically try and line this up the best you can. This ruler's upside down and it infuriates me. That's the center, four and a quarter. This is four and a quarter, no, four and a half long. So we need to measure two and a quarter to the edge. So one, two, and a quarter right there. And then one, two and a quarter is right there. Now we know where the outside edge of our thing is. This is another little trick for sewing it. Sew a little bit in on the top edge. That way there's just a little bit of fabric that can lay nicely on your face and the wire isn't just like the only thing on your face. It kind of creates a little buffer layer between the wire and your face to like perfectly form to your face. And before it gets to the end, Pop that up, take your wire, put it inside of the sleeve, and then make sure you're getting it actually inside of the thing. You can see it there. Push it all the way to the end. Just kind of inch it along. There it goes. There it is, all the way in. So then I just kind of hold it tight to the outside. Put the foot back down, and then just finish sewing it back up. Cool, now that the nose piece is in, we can finish the ends. So, just to make sewing, the sewing process a little easier, just gonna fold that a little bit, iron that down. Fold it over again. Iron that down. you again over here. Now that those are folded, sew them back up. And there it is. One thing I want to kind of do is pull these out, kind of fold it in on itself a little bit. Just kind of, this just kind of gets it in the shape that it's going to be on your face. That's basically it. And that goes on your face. All right, now that you've got the mask cut out and everything's sewn up. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the mask that your grandma lovingly made you, but that's like way too big for your face. Sorry, grandma. And you're just gonna take the elastic out. Thank you. And you're gonna put the elastic in the new one. Find something just to stick through the mask to help you pull it through. The best way to make sure you're getting the right length, because a lot of people are saying that, you know, behind the ears is uncomfortable. And it's really about getting the right amount of pull on your face. It's actually, behind the ears is quite comfortable, um, as long as you have the right amount of like pressure, which is, you know, very light. 
but I already measured these out. All right, you're gonna pull that with the inside of the mask. There it goes, beautiful. Same thing over here. Kind of bend that to the shape of your face, and voila. Boom. There's your face mask. One thing I like to do is that we have this extra flap of fabric. I actually like to pull this up higher because it, the, the cut makes it so it doesn't go underneath your eyes. It just kind of goes down this way, which is so much more comfortable. And it's just all around way better design. And it doesn't fog up the glasses. So freaking awesome. The reason I think this is such a good mask is because it puts the pressure on the bottom of my chin and on the top of my nose. It's not squishing the front of my nose in. I hate that, it's uncomfortable. It's also not sitting on the face of my chin. So it's not like just smushing the whole front of my face. I feel like I have a lot more room to breathe. It breathes really well. Um, it's just all around, I think a much better design. Great for people with glasses. And I think just in general, it's just a better way to do it. All right, well, that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like. That just lets YouTube know that you enjoyed the video, and if you did like this video, please feel free to subscribe and hit that little notification bell. That just makes sure that you won't miss another one of my videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.